am currently wearing my Christmas tights because they are oh so merry freaking comfortable. And I just don't care what you have to say about it. I am at peace. Hello, my fellow good people. I hope you're staying kind to yourselves and your body today. I am PT Bay. The PT stands for physical therapy. Recently, I made a YouTube video giving tips about how to stand out so you can get accepted into physical therapy school. And based on a lot of comments and questions that I received on that video, I decided to create a video talking about my physical therapy school application process. I'm gonna be talking about my GPA to how many hours I completed, how many schools I applied to when I heard back from them, blase, blase. So if you're interested and you wanna know all my business, Stay tuned in. So June 2018, my application opened up and I had everything signed, sealed, submitted by September 2018. And then I started to hear back from schools as early as mid-October. I got my first interview and then I got my first acceptance in November. I applied to five PT schools total, all in Texas, Texas State University, Texas Women's University, UTMB in Galveston, UT Health in San Antonio, and then the University of North Texas in Denton. Out of those five schools, I was rejected by two for UNT and UT Health. I don't know why I was rejected in the email they sent me. All it says was at this time, there's so many applicants, we just can't accept you. If you get denied, this pillow is stressing me out. If you get denied by your number one school, you can totally call them and ask them what areas in your application you need to improve in so you can apply again next year. I got an interview at both Texas State and UTMB. UTMB emailed me mid-October. They had like three different dates that I could choose from. Then I found out from Texas Women's University sometime before Thanksgiving break that I was accepted into their program. And then Texas State University reached out to me to set up an interview. So a question that I receive frequently is what was my GPA when I applied to physical therapy school? So the GPA for my undergraduate university, which was Texas State, was a 3.79. During the summer, I would always go home to Houston and I would go and complete courses at the local community college. My community college GPA, so where I took all those classes in Houston, was a 3.37. And even prior to that, when I was in high school, I completed dual credit courses for college and high school credit. And I took my dual credit courses, not realizing that the weight of those courses actually mattered. So I literally got C's in all of my high school dual credit courses. My dual credit GPA was a 2.0 because all the C's. But not to worry, you guys. The reason I bring that up is because your GPA is such a dynamic part of your application that PT Bay is gonna tackle for you guys today. Get ready for GPA Explained. So when you're trying to figure out whether or not your GPA is competitive enough, the most important thing to your prerequisite courses is gonna be the main course courses that they look at for your GPA. They want to see what grades you got in those courses above all. Every school has different prerequisite courses. You just have to do your research to figure out what school requires what. Also, a lot of PT schools, they're only going to care about your last two years because when you first enroll into a college program, you're mainly taking basic courses like English and math, art history, stuff like that. PT schools, I hate to say it to you, I know you're really proud of that A you got in art history because you didn't know how to tell a Picasso from a Van Gogh, but now you got all of your Monets in order. However, physical therapy schools do not care. They don't. They want to know how you did in anatomy, how you did in chemistry, really all of your sciences. Those are going to be your main prereqs. Are you still with me? If so, go ahead and stretch. Ugh. I've been asked about like GRE prep and honestly, I don't know. I personally didn't study for my GRE. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I went in to take the GRE, I had the mindset that I was about to flunk my butt off. Like I was already preparing to pay for this exam all over again. And this time I was like, I'm going to study for it. My GRE score, so I had a 152 in the verbal, a 147 in the math and a 4.0 in the writing. I had 205 observation hours. I've mentioned this before in my past video. When it comes to your observation hours, it's gonna be about a variety over a quantity. If you wanna hear more about that, check out my video tag below. It's pretty early within the video, like the first two or three minutes, so check that out. So just to provide you guys with a few tips on your PTCAST application, do not wait until the last minute. I mean, I'm not your mom, but literally like, why are you always procrastinating, Jackson? Think of it this way. As soon as those applications 
applications start rolling in, the admissions board starts reviewing those. So do you want to be one of the applications that they read early into the process or later? Think of it like American Idol. The first contestant they're really excited to see, by the time they get to number 80, Simon Powell is ready to go take his afternoon nap. So reach out to the people who you want to write your letter of recs super early in the game. When I was applying to PT school, one of the things that took so long were my letter of recommendations to come in. I literally had everything on my end completed and submitted, but my applications weren't complete because I was still waiting on one or two letter of recommendations. I was having to email them like, hey, <laughs> you never know what their plate is looking like. So in order to give them enough time to help you help yourself by starting early and stay on them in a polite but professional manner. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have not checked out my channel, please do so. I'm PT Bay. I got PT videos for days. I'm currently on summer vacation until June 1st. But whenever we are back in school, I will be back in action, vlogging my PT school experience, giving you guys a look into the online COVID-19 physical therapy school experience. Also, I want to do like some study with me videos so you guys can see what all I'm actually learning. And to go along with that, I've been getting questions on, should you get an iPad or a laptop for PT school? Which is a very, very, very great debate. Me personally, I chose an iPad and I am very satisfied with my choice. And I want to film a video to show you guys how I take notes on my iPad so you can figure out if that is something that you would be interested in for PT school or not. Also, you guys, a big part of why I do this channel is to help bring awareness because I know there's not a lot of information out there about physical therapy school. So let me know what you guys want to see. And if PT Bay can do it for you, PT Bay will do it for you. Yes. I'm so freaking weird. I hate it. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, and stay positive. And take care of yourself. You've been way too stressed lately. Bye. Bye.